Dobro jutro. Good morning. Welcome to the city of Tiraspol. Here in the breakaway republic of Pridnestrovia. I'll just sit here on these Soviet swings outside our apartment. Our apartment's in this block here. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible value. We're paying £11. I'll show it you after because it's, it's genuinely so nice. Sit on these bad boys. Look at these. And explain where we are and what this place is. So, Pridnestrovia, or as most foreigners call it, Transnistria, that's how you've probably heard of it, if you have heard of it, is the country that doesn't exist. That's what everyone says. So it's like a slither of land sandwiched between Ukraine, mainland Ukraine, and Moldova. Although it is in the Moldovan border. That's why it's a like an autonomous republic, because they declared their independence after a bloody war in, in the 90s when the, the Soviet Union fell. There's only a few other places in the world that recognise this place and they're also unrecognised republics, tiny unrecognised republics, there's a few dotted around. So it's a super interesting place. They say it's not a country but they've got their own flag, national anthem, money, bank, police, military, everything that a country has they have here. Been here for a few days, we're staying for seven days. We told the border guard, and I told him in Russian, he completely was like not listening. He, he said, you go back today. I was like, no, we're here for seven days. So people just come for a day trip, but we're here for the week and so far. It's super nice, really enjoying it. Yeah, it's just, it's just a different feel. Pro-Russian little state. Well, I've just talked about the money. I may as well show you, because it's actually really interesting. They've got some really funny notes. We've got 10s, 25s, 20s, 50s, 100s. And they're really nice, to tell you the truth. Oh, like paper notes. And through Nestrovia, Transnistria is the only place with the hammer and sickle still on the flag. And on the coins, I'll show you now. If I can, if I can show you this. Can you see that? So that's super cool. And that coin, that is a ten. A tenth of one ruble, which is half a penny in English money. And one ruble is 5p, so it's it's tiny. Crazy. But yeah, just look at the apartment blocks. They're actually saying they're quite short, they're not like high rises, but everyone comes out here and hang when it's sunny they're all hanging the washing up, sitting, chatting. It's really nice actually. Got these legendary benches swings. There's just loads of cats, so many cats. Everyone feeds the cats every day, I see them doing it. So this is the huge government building. Massive and a huge Lenin statue. We're walking down the 25th of October Street, the main main street here in Tiraspol. And it's just, it's massive, it's so wide. It's super windy, I hope you can hear. We're just gonna head into town. Head into the big green market. And just have a look what, what's going on. A young guy. Look at this, you can see the Prydnestrovian flag. And the emblem on this massive street. It's impressive, they say it's like a Soviet wonderland. Like stepping back in time. We've got a huge eternal flame. And a memorial to the people who died in the war. This gorgeous chapel with the gold domes. And a massive bad boy tank. I think you can climb on, everyone seems to be like climbing up it. Look at that. Nice, isn't it? Mean machine. He 
It's so windy today, I don't know what's happened, but look at the huge Prindestrovian emblem. The huge Hamel and Sickle and Red Star. There's the big flag up there, Russia flag as well, next to it. This massive statue. And then can you see the the other three three flags? Over there? They're the three unrecognised republics that recognise this place. All very odd, isn't it? Now, I've not seen a tourist yet. I don't know if there's many here because obviously people must be, um, maybe they're too scared to come with the war in neighbouring Ukraine. Who knows? But locals are lovely so far. Everyone's super friendly, wants to chat. Overall, really good vibe. But let's look at the grandeur of the place. This is one of the main park square areas on this October 25th Street. Yeah, you can see the flags there. South Ossetia, Nagorno-Karabakh, and what's the other one? I've forgotten. Abkhazia, Abkhazia in, in Georgia's border. Hopefully we're gonna go there in a few months. Everything's so well kept and looked after. Anyway, I don't know about the edges, we'll have a look. So this is the huge green market in the center of the city. It looks rammed. Should we go in? It's massive. It looks like it's had a refurb as well. It looks all really nice and modern, actually. We need to find an exchange rate as well because the only you can only use the Pridnistorobian ruble, but you can't use it anywhere else in the entire world, only here. So you have to come and get it here, and you can only change like dollars, euros. Russian rubles, like strong, stronger Western currencies. So we found the mother of all tea stands, tea and spice stands. What have they got? Oh, this it smells good here, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it as tasty? There's so much honey, just water bottles, jars full of it. Like the biggest jar of honey there is like three pounds. That's ridiculous value. Smells really. good. Smells good. They've got all pickled stuff, pickled cabbage. That smells good. The prices here are some of the greatest we've seen in the whole of Europe, for sure. Like the fruit veg, we've been we've been buying dumplings from the shop and just cooking myself, and they're like a pound for a huge bag of homemade dumplings. It's ridiculous. Like Vereniki pelmeni. You can get the, the feel for how busy it is in here and like how, how bustling it is. Everyone's buying, selling. How much? Bar? Bar sto? How much? Bar desert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. So these blueberries are one pound summer. I did, I did, I did. Da, I did. Spasiba. So these big raspberries are 50, which is just over two quid. Spasiba. And the small ones are 50. Which is what? That's under a pound. That is mental. This is the meat hall. 
мясной. This is heaven. This is like meat heaven. Well good, yeah. Look at these big sausages. They're all delicious. What, they're quails a little bit? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh. <laughs> Some big pig heads there on the table, two of them. Liver. There's a cafe bar in the corner. Selling dried fruit and nuts as well. Oh, they've got the pig nose. Mm, best bit. The... <laughs> There's a puppy one there around the market. It wants some attention well back. Oh, it stinks. It smells like rotting flesh. Oh, no, that dog smells too bad. Oh, it's too bad. Spokos are bad. Like, mal? Mal as well. We've got a kvass, super traditional Slavic drink found everywhere in summer. Had it before in Poland, had it in England, but not not like the proper from the barrels there. What is it? It's like a malt drink, isn't it? It's like an alcoholic malt. I can't explain it, it's really nice, so it's really refreshing. Mine's really nice lemonade. 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 Oh, that's really sweet and good. It's refreshing, isn't it? Yeah. Nozdravia. We've even got an exact replica of the Blackpool Tower here in Tiraspol. It's not the Eiffel Tower, I promise you. I forgot to say that actually get, to get into Pridnestrovia it's really easy. All you have to do is catch on the super frequent marshrutkas from Chisinau. It takes like one and a half hours. Just show your passport at the border, tell them how long you're staying for, they give you a little piece of paper. And then keep all of that because that's your one way to get out of here. You need to keep it. And then just over the border. So it's really easy. Fairly quick, apart from they stopped us, pulled our bags out and searched our bags, asked us what we're doing, but other than that, it was pretty smooth sailing. And the marshrut could cost 65 lei. I think that's about four pounds. So we just had some really good, surprisingly, really good canteen food, hearty canteen food in, in like, there's a shopping mall here, a really weird shopping mall, and there's a cafe in there. Next to this huge abandoned factory. It's all a bit odd, we're right on the outskirts of, of the city now. Like out of town. Here yeah, there's a Sheriff petrol station. Now Sheriff seems to own everything in this state. They have a football team, football team that beat Real Madrid recently. Supermarkets, petrol stations, literally everything. The blocks who own it. I think I read they own over half of everything here. So in the park outside the city centre, there's this like, huge area that's just like abandoned old Soviet rides. They're not abandoned, they're actually functioning, but if you look to them, you think they're abandoned. 
There's quite a few people bringing their kids here. So there's loads of kids rides. I think these are kids rides. They look quite fun though. You can see just various little things, but then over here I've spotted the huge Ferris wheel. It's absolutely massive. It looks petrifying. We'll take a look, see if I have the, the balls to go on it. I don't like what do you call them, Ferris wheels, like the big eyes, whatever. Look at this, this is strange, isn't it? A dory, and then a little Finding Nemo, but here's the, here's the wheel. It doesn't look as big up close, but... It looks quite scary. Eh? Is it open? I'll have a look. Is it Is it desert? Da? Um... How do you say it? Skolko? One, Just one, okay. Okay, so that's it. See that. Do we go in the same one? What the hell? Blue. Blue. So I see that. <laughs> Look at this. Is it scary? No. Well, it's, it's a bit rickety. Does it's it spin as well? Don't tell me that. No. Wow, I don't like it already. It's gonna go really slow and it's gonna stop at the top, isn't it? Oh, shop up the chain on so we don't die. That's it, secure. <laughs> Look at this thing. Wonder how often they do maintenance on this. Never. Still probably safe than the rides at once. I know, I bet no one's ever had an accident. Oh, yeah, have they? I don't like supplies. It's quite peaceful, actually. It is quite peaceful. There's some nice tunes in the background. It's really scary. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, stop it. Don't shake. The seating area. Stop it. It's perfectly safe. Look. Oh no, it's windy up here. Oh no, it's well windy. No! Wow, it's beautiful though. Thing is, once we hit the top and you know you're coming down, it's absolutely fine. I think it's just this bit when you're going up and now the wind's blowing us again. It's well windy today. You okay? <laughs> Can you hear the wind? Oh no! Blowing so much, and now we're swinging. The wind's swinging us. Now we're going, we're going down. Now it's fine. It's not this the way it's been. The hell? The old Soviet rides. You can see all the big tower blocks everywhere in the background. Check it out. Oh. Ready? Do we just jump out? Yes. <laughs> Out through the turn style. Full choice for silver. Okay. We made it. No, it wasn't actually that bad. It was a bit scary though at the top when it was windy. I don't like heights, especially when you're on something like that. You hit them everywhere. <laughs> I hate them. I've just realised that this coin I had, the five copy. Is a quarter of a penny. So four of these is one penny, which is ridiculous. You can't, you can't even buy anything with that here, let alone anywhere else. But it is pretty. Crazy money. That might be the sickest one yet. We found another one of the world's best Mackey's rip-offs. 
They just get better and better every country. Chavelma. What are them ones? Da? Da. Da, da, da. <laughs> Should we get anything da. else? What about... I'm just getting a mini sweet selection. What should we get? Hello. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Fuck up. Here we are on the Dniester River that runs through Tiraspol and pretty much separates Pridnestrovia from Moldova, like runs all the way along the border. It's massive, apparently the water levels are really low right now and it's a bit stinky our apartment owner told us but there's a beach somewhere and usually, is that the beach? I think that's actually the beach, yeah it's a bit stinky so people come swimming here in summer it's usually packed. Over there you can actually see the car ferry, there's a little car ferry that goes across for a few rubles, pretty cool. Yeah, it's a massive, massive river. I think it's a really strong current as well. The beach looks really nice though. It looks smooth sand, doesn't it? Nice for a sunbathe. Maybe not a swim because it does stink. You can see it's a bit, it's a bit rotten, but yeah. The Dinesta River, pretty smart. Right next to the Green Market, there's a huge church cathedral. They call it a cathedral, I think. With the golden domes. Which looks incredible. Look at these mosaics outside the church. Absolutely stunning. the guy leaving in his white larder. There's some more along the wall here. Such a nice church and just in the middle of the city of Tiraspol. Right next to the market in the middle. You can see it from all over the city, the golden dome sticking out. Wow. Watching Krasiva. Nice touch, though. Yeah, it's a so there's a is this an old water dispenser? Gas water, is it? Oh it's gas water. Is it water dispenser? Back in the day. What do you pay? Where do you put money in? Or was it just free? That's interesting. I don't know what's going on there. Is she trying to sell the cat or has she found the cat? I don't know, there's no plastic carrier bags, I'm not sure why. I don't understand what she was trying to say. We just went back into the market and it was an absolute hullabaloo. All, all the ladies in the... The egg stalls were absolutely laughing their heads off at me and they were all saying stuff amongst themselves. I have no idea what they were saying. She said my tattoos are beautiful. Then who knows what else? She's blowing was, kisses at Ellis. It was bad, all wasn't the it? ladies were laughing their heads off. So God knows what. I felt like saying. a victim. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, so do I. Yeah, it was a bit awkward. But up there, everyone was so nice. The, pe the people were well nice, weren't they? Yeah. I just asked people like for stuff. They'll, they'll like walk you to where you want to go and stuff. So we're going back. That's it. But look at these cars. This is the car park for the market. It's packed today, it's Friday. So there's loads of classic cars. I found the ultimate Soviet playground in between all these little tower flats. Found the greatest Soviet swings. 
into the asphalt. Look at this one. Look at that contraption. Old school. I wonder when these were built. Mental. Yeah, just check this place out. Look at the seesaw. That's some proper stuff, that. Look at it. This is what you find in the outer areas in Tiraspol. People drying the rugs and mats. Oh wow. Look at this. That is well nice. Near where we're staying is this huge like billboard with the Vidnestrovian troops and Russian troops shaking hands. It says 30 years. I don't know what the rest is. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Obviously, we're pro Russian here. We're all speaking Russian. Blah, blah, blah. And I've just picked up some of the legendary. This country is the only place in the world to have ever made plastic composite coins, like legal tender. Look at these. Like you can actually spend these. So our little, little tokens, there's a one. Three, five, and a ten. Look at those. If you go into the bank, you can get them. You can like sort them. Or some people even have them in shops. Or anyway, if you just ask around, I think you can get hold of some. But yeah, how cool are they? Good little collector's item, then. They sold like a full book, didn't they? Yeah, they sold like a collection book. This is the area we're staying. We're just nipping to the shop. We're staying at the other end of town than the, the downtown where we were today. They're doing all the road up. I think maybe the sheriff man, there's a lot of money gone into it because everything's being revitalized, everything's being made nice and new. It's not crumbling to pieces everywhere, believe it or not. We're in the favorite shop near our apartment. While we may as well show you some quick prices. For example, this beer is like just over a pound, um, just around a pound, they're all around a pound. Energy drinks a bit more expensive, one to two pounds, one pound fifty even. Or else we got crisps, like one pound fifty for a big bag. Big Bob nuts, like fifty p a bag. Get yourself a huge bag of sunflower seeds, fifty p. Big waters, fifty p. Big fruit juices, fifty p. The fruit juice here is hilarious. It's everything, everything here, in fact, is like unbranded or like Pridnestrovian branded. Look at them all. In fact, they're all under 50p. All these juices or fizzy drinks, whatever. Yeah, you can get some really interesting stuff here. For example, like, if you want, you can eat so cheap. They've got all like frozen dumplings that they've made. Like Vereniki, Kinkali, Russian Pelmeni, and for example, a bag of Kinkali is £1.50 for this huge bag. And they're honestly, when you cook them, they, they get a lot bigger. Bag of Vereniki, £1. I mean, and, and that bag can feed two when you cook it. If you want, or if you want to be fat, you can eat one to yourself. What else have we got? The vodka, of course, the vodka. So this is £1.50 for half a litre of 40% vodka. I mean, some are even cheaper. How much is that? £3 a litre. It's crazy. What else have they got? Peach snaps, £1 for a huge bowl. What's that? Like a grape alcohol, £1.50. Back where we started in the room, I'll just do a quick room tour because this apartment is pretty incredible for £11 a night, $14. Actually, I booked one night on Airbnb and then I just messaged, I said, can we book another five because screw Airbnb, shit company. Used to be good, but now it's terrible. 
So yeah, eleven pound that. This is what it gets you in Tiraspol, with Nostrovia. This huge bedroom, telly, aircon. The huge. You can lie sideways in this bed. It's that big. A little drying rack. We've just washed our clothes. Comes with a washing machine. Windows. Nice, nice to get some natural light in. Some antiques. What's this? An antique radio. I've not tried these. I don't think they work. So yeah, bedroom. Oh, comes complete. What is that noise? Comes complete with legendary shoehorn, metal one. Impressive. If you ever use them, I doubt anyone does. We've got a dreaded Eiffel Tower on the wall. What's with this in hotel rooms? It's just an occurring theme now, and it's getting a bit irritating. But no, I definitely not want to try the cucumber. I hate cucumber. Bathroom does the job. Small. And then kitchen, we've got a washing machine, fridge. These are the dumplings I got, the Pelmeni. A pound for all them. That's ridiculous. Mystery meat, I don't know what's in them. What else? Anything else? Oh, it's actually a gas boiler that heats the water. Russia used to supply free gas here. I don't know if they still do, maybe they do. So yeah. What's that noise? It's like store. What else was that? Really good fruit and veg lady across the road. Yeah, it's super cheap fruit and veg lady across the road. She's really nice and how cheap was it? This was two and a half rubles. How cheap was a kilo of peppers? A kilo of peppers was eight. Which is less than 50p. And a kilo of tomatoes was the same. Yeah. So yeah, that, if you do want to cook, we don't usually cook, but you can get stuff super cheap. So yeah, that's what £11 gets you here in Tiraspol. Maybe I'll put it in the description because it deserves more people to come stay here. More people should come and visit. It's well good here. First day actually going into the centre and around. Really good day. Everyone's super nice. People are really friendly. Prices are incredible. It's like going back in time. So refreshing. Super. And the Sudanian.